Welcome or welcome back to the NW3C's Daily Capture the Flag Challenge. Today we're going to be going over the challenge from March 26. Ogres have layers. This file has layers. Let's go ahead and jump in there and check it out. Ogres are complex creatures that do not wear their feelings on their sleeves. This file is much like an ogre. It has layers. However, donkeys are not complex. They wear their feelings on their sleeves. The flag is in a classic Capture the Flag format. So let's go ahead and grab that file and begin our investigation. So we have successfully downloaded our onions.tar file. And we're going to take note of that hash beginning in D7. First thing I'm going to do is get change directory to my downloads directory. And then I'm going to use ls to list my files. I see I have my onions.tar file there. Now I want to check that my MD5 hash sums do match up. Starting with D7, ending with Charlie Delta Delta. D7, ending with Charlie Delta Delta. We see it right there. Next, I want to determine my file type. Make sure it is indeed a tar file, and it is. So the next thing I'm going to do is use tar-xf, which is going to go ahead and open up that tar file. And there I've got my onions.db. So I'm going to use a free tool, db browser, for SQLite. And I'm going to use that to open it up. First thing I'm going to do, whenever I get in there and open up this file, right before I get to the point of browsing data is I'm going to look here at the database structure. Do I see anything interesting? I've got some blobs, which are binary large objects, um, a couple different names. So let's check it out. So if we look at the column labeled NPK, we can see that it looks like messages. Are you getting these? Yes, good. I just sent you the secret. Thanks. I got it, but it looks weird. Yeah, I was worried someone was spying. So it's archive, random data. Uh, the NWCB column is sequence, but then we have the ZRD, it's a blob. And if we go and check that blob out, we can see that the header there is one Foxtrot eight Bravo 0808. That's something to take note of because that's the header that we're going to see for a gzip. So the next step we want to do is export that binary out so we can begin the analysis of this specific blob. So I'm just going to name mine onions export. That way I know where it came from and that it's exported from it. It's going to be over in our downloads folder. So let's go and check it out. We can see there that we have it. So the next thing I want to do is I'm curious of what kind of file it is. I recognize that header is being gzip, but there I can use the file command again that's going to look for what that file is irregardless of the extension. Now to get this to play nice with 7-zip, we are going to jump in there and we are going to change that .bin extension to a .gz extension. Definitely want to hit yes. Now I'm just going to extract the file right here because I'm already working in the downloads directory. And I can see there that the first thing is a flags.plist. So I'm going to use the terminal again with the cat command to display the contents. And I can see here that it is indeed a plist. And I have a variety of keys. And I have one that says random data, seriously random data, but I have a key named flag. And then I have all of this hex. Below that I have a description information about a flag, and then I have that note there that it's been hexed. So if I'm dealing with a large amount of hexadecimal values and I have the statement that it's been hexed, I need to go from hex back to its original data architecture. In this case, we're going to use CyberChef and go from hex. We can see that nested in the plist was an additional plist that has a key called the real flag, and then we have a string. It looks kind of funky. And below that, we have another key named encoded, which string prints rot13. So we are going to take that flag, and we are going to see that when we throw rot13 at it, it is going to code it into our onions have layers too. And we are going to take that flag, and we're going to enter it back into the engine. And at this point, send that flag off, and we can see that it is indeed correct. Hope everybody enjoyed that video. Look forward to seeing you again. Good luck.